What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs. Cast through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Let me show you what I'm doing, man. He's like a little baby. I'm rubbing his little... He just loves it. He loves it. He loves it. Look at that little face. I'm just saying. Okay, anyways. So, yeah. I love you guys, and thanks for all the new subscribers. If you think anyone else will like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it, okay? All right. So, I okay. So, I'm receiving a lot of visions today. Um, short ones, but more than usual, because y'all know I'm usually clear audience. It's the, I hear from the spiritual universe a lot. I, I rarely get the visions, but I'm getting them a lot today. So, um, I'm just going to roll with it. Okay. This one, um, is okay. So it's a combination like the other one of clear audience and clairvoyance. So vision and the hearing from the spiritual universe. So we're just going to roll with it. And I think it's interconnected like the other one. Okay, so the vision I got, I got the vision first, then I got the channel, okay, and it was only, it was maybe two or three minutes after I uploaded this other video, so it hadn't been very long. Okay, so there, the vision is, was, um, it was a, um, a ma it was like, it, I think it was a, um, what what do you call it? Um, the day the night before party uh, where they go out. Um, what's it called? Like the night before party to the wedding. Um, the bachelorette party. Bachelorette party um, where the guys go out and then the chicks go out. Chicks go out and have one last hoorah. The guys go out and have one last hoorah. It was the guys hoorah and. Um, a uh, a very close friend, a bridal party member of the bride, was at this club. It looked like a club, and there was a lot of alcohol and a lot of partying, and there was beads and uh, people in bras. And I mean, it was they were it was a whole it was big banger, big banger. But um, I know it was a bride's. Uh, I dare to say best friend. I didn't hear best friend, but the way they were conversating, um, she, uh, you could tell they were very close. She was in a bra that she was on him in a chair, like dry humping him, like strip teasing it. And she looked, she was cute. She was cute. But, and he was, he was good looking too, but their conversation, you could tell. Um, she was like, I really want you. I really want you. And he's like, oh, I want you too, baby. I want you too. The, like the really close friend of the bride. Then it's, it shuts off. It shuts off. Their party scene. It shuts off. Then you see bathroom scene. You see a bathroom scene of him and her in the stall. Boom. Doing their thing. If you know what I mean. Okay. Cuts off. Ne I'm presuming the next day or the next couple days, you see the the church. It's a church. The br bridal party. She's in the bridal party, and um, she was close. She wasn't the first one, like the bridesmaid spot, but she was the second one. So I don't think she was a bridesmaid, but she was the second spot. Same female. In the bridal dress, in the bridal party, that was with him. Okay, this reminds me of like a Miranda Lambert video, and I'm just being for real. But this is what I saw, and so she was second in the row, right? Well, you see the the night. It was a very nice church, a very nice bridal party. I mean, beautiful, beautiful setting, beautiful. If I ever get married again, that's I mean. I don't want mine in a church, but it was a beautiful setting. Nice setting, just saying. Um, 
it gave me ideas if I ever get married again, which probably won't, but I'm just saying. So anyway, so beautiful setting, right? Well, then you see, um, you see him up there waiting, right? And you see her second in line. And everybody's waiting on the bride to come. Everybody's waiting on the bride to come. Everybody's waiting on the bride to come, right? The bride never comes. It cuts off, and then you see her driving off. She's on the phone with somebody, and she's pissed. She said, that slut, ho, what a, I mean, she was going off. She was going off. She was pissed. Screeching tires out the freaking, uh, <laughs> area and um uh, it cuts off then <laughs> it gets better then you see not the church you see um uh, a restaurant it's a restaurant of the men's of the men's party so the groom's family i'm presuming they're at a restaurant you get a phone um uh the father gets a phone call i'm presuming it's his father um it looked like his father uh, the bride, the groom's father gets a phone call uh, from a, a family member. I'm presuming it was a family member from the, uh, the bride's party. Um, they get into it. And uh, they were like, I can't believe, he's like, I can't believe she did that. Blah, blah, blah. And then you're like, oh, whoa, what, what, what? And um, I could, I mean, you could kind of hear on the other end. Like it was a female talking to him. But I think the female was telling him about the party, bridal party member with the son the previous night. Because he goes, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, what? What? Uh, he wouldn't tell me what was going on. He wouldn't tell me what was going on. Oh, my God. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's like he was just baffled. He was baffled because his son had not told him what the hell had happened. I'm sure his son knew why the bride didn't come down the aisle. But he didn't tell his uh, dad that. <laughs> I'm presuming it was his dad. And um, so then they hang up. The fem energy hangs up with him. I'm presuming it was a family member of hers. Um, tell him. Chaos breaks out at the restaurant table. Because he tells everybody basically the conversation. The, broom, the groom gets in huge hot water. <laughs> it was a family debacle. Um, the way there was a little cute little waitress that kept trying to come and she just kept, she, she would come and then she, they were so into it. She would just go to another table. It was a large party. <laughs> it was about 20 people or so, uh, maybe more, maybe about 30. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this is significant, but I will tell you, I don't know if this has already happened or, and, and it cut off, it cut off. I don't know how this is significant in the universe. I think one of you guys was in this bridal party or you're about to be in this bridal party, but somebody gets, the wedding doesn't happen. I'll tell you that. The wedding doesn't happen, but whoever this is for, whether it's already happened or it's about to happen, the wedding does not happen, but it doesn't happen if this resonates for you or somebody you're connected to because the groom gets it on with the uh, best, well, I don't know if it's his best, uh, her best friend or a close friend in the bridal party the night before or a couple nights before at some kind of bachelorette looking club looking party. I mean, in a bathroom stall. Just saying, just saying. I don't know how the hell this is significant to one of you guys out there, but apparently it is. I don't know if it's already happened in the universe or it's about to happen. But it reminds me of like a runaway bride or a what a runaway bride scene kind of thing or a Miranda Lambert video scene or something of that nature. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. All right, love you guys. Namaste.